Hello, welcome back to Wind Down with Erica. So today's episode, we're in Minnesota. Hello, my Minnesota people. How you doing? So today, we're going to be making stuffed shells. They're going to be so good. It's chicken stuffed shells. So delicious, so easy, really quick, and you're going to love it. Um, I make this a lot, and I decided to make it today. So let's get started. It's going to be really yummy. So I can't wait. Good to see y'all. So the ingredients for the chicken stuffed shells consist of ground chicken, bell peppers, I got red, yellow, and orange, and green. I probably just used just the yellow and green. Spinach. I'm going to get you a cracker ace. Hold on. Cheese. Onion. I'm just going to chop it up. Alfredo sauce. I'm using the roasted garlic parmesan. I got two cans of this. And then the jumbo shells. I got two boxes of it. Yes, Ace. I'm going to get you some juice. Hang on, baby. Seasonings. Italian seasoning. That New Orleans Cajun garlic salt. Some pepper. And I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan and Romano cheese on top of it. Oh, my Lanta. This is going to be so good. This is what I'm putting the shells in. I spray the pan. It's a foil pan. Seems like it's an extra large, so I'm just going to line the shells in here, and then we're going to put it in the oven, in our oven, for 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, because everything will be cooked. Noodles will be cooked. Everything is cooked. We just want everything just to come together and get cheesy, so it's going to be super delicious, y'all. I cannot wait. Here's A's. So I'm going to chop up the onion. I got this fancy little thing. Open it. I already cut my onion in half. I'm going to do one for you. This is my first time doing it, so I don't know how to do it properly, but we're going to try. I'm going to get up a little ump in it. So. Can you see right there on the bottom how it dices it? That's what you want. So we're going to continue to do that with the onions, but let me show you how I do chop up my spinach as well. Now for my spinach, I'm using this. You only do a little bit at a time. That's maybe too much. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. We just do it like this. Can you see how it's just chopping it all up? And look at that. Look at how beautiful it's that diced spinach up. is. <laughs> That's what you want. So we're going to continue to do this with our spinach and our onions. And then I'm going to show you how I do it with my bell peppers as well. Also, I got the bell peppers in there. I just cut them in squares like so. And just put them in here. You see how we got it in the dice? Perfect squares, y'all. So we're going to continue to do this with more bell peppers. And the onions. smell of the bell pepper is delicious. It smells divine, y'all. That is true. This is so convenient. I can't wait for y'all to see the dish. So I got all my veggies chopped. Onions, bell peppers, spinach. I got the red, yellow, and green bell pepper, spinach, onions. And we're going to saute these all with our ground chicken. Once again, this is the ground chicken we're using. That Minnesota ground chicken. So we're just going to cook everything all together, and then we're going to get ready to start stuffing our shells. So, I'm excited. So I got my meat cooking here, looking good. I added the seasonings, garlic salt, New Orleans Cajun, black pepper, Italian seasoning. And now we're going to add all of our chopped veggies. So now we're just going to mix all of our veggies 
spinach. If you need to add more onions, bell pepper, spinach, you can go ahead and add. You don't have to add more seasoning because the seasoning from the meat will be on the seasoning on the uh, will be on the vegetables. So you don't have to add more seasoning. And like I said, we're gonna mix all this together, get everything all sauteed, and then it'll be time to stuff shells. I'm gonna have um, two other people to help me stuff the shells because it's just a lot of shells and. This dish will be ready in about almost an hour. Oh, I can't wait, Minnesota, my Minnetonkas, yay. So now everything is all sauteed. The meat, the veggies are all sauteed. It looks delicious. We're gonna add a little cheese to it and just a little bit of this to give it a little moist. It's gonna be so good. And then that's what we're gonna stuff it with. I'm telling y'all, this is gonna be so good. Look at this. I just added that white sauce and the cheese the cheese already is melting oh my lanta my minnesota people this is gonna be so good so good so all my noodles are all done i just drained them and then um <clears throat> I just added a little bit of Larry's, which is really Larry's seasoning. I added that to the noodles. That way the outside of the noodles will have flavor. And now we're going to get ready to stuff them. I have one moment. I have a couple shows right here on my plexic plate. You can see. You can see the Larry seasoning. I'm going to have them open like this. And I'm going to stuff them with all the stuffing. And then we're going to line it on our foil pan that I already greased with um, butter, olive oil, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven for 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Everything is already cooked. We're just getting everything melted, the cheese, all that. Mamma mia. So, let's get started. Oh man, when I tell you this mixture is so good, it smells good, it tastes good, so we're just gonna take a good chunk of it. And then we're just going to stuff it. I did two boxes. Um, as I said, I'm here in Minnesota. Um, so I quite a few people to feed. So I'm just going to... I did two boxes. I did uh, two, <clears throat> two boxes of the jumbo shells. And I did three pounds of meat. Some people at work. So I want to make sure everybody gets their serving. And we're just going to stuff it like so. Just like that. Very simple, very easy. Fun to do if you want to have your children help you stuff them. Give them something to do. And then once we line it in our foil pan, we're going to sprinkle it with cheese. We're going to sprinkle it with cheese, and then we're going to pour over the alfredo sauce, and then we're going to put um, Parmesan cheese on top of it, pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes, and this is going to be so good. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know. Keep my day job. I gotcha. I gotcha. But look, they say, like, it's okay if they fall over or whatnot. They're going to all be good. But this is what the stuffed shells look like pre-oven. It's going to be good. So I'm going to stuff the rest of them. So right here we have the meat shells. We're going to pour over the white sauce, cheese, and mozzarella cheese. And right here we have the cheese shells, which we're stuffing with cheese. And we're going to fill with the mozzarella. And we're going to top it off with the white sauce and mozzarella and more shredded cheese. She's doing it. Get out, bitch. Smooth as cum. Oh, daddy. Oh. Yeah, daddy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can add a little water to get the rest of the sauce out of the, the jar, and this is what it looks like. So, uh, oh. 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 
and now we're gonna sprinkle a little oh, shredded oh. cheese and Parmesan cheese on top. Oh. Now we're just sprinkling Parmesan cheese on the cheese shells. Looks like dandruff. It's but gonna be so good. good. You know they say once you go black, you never go back. Oh. Once you taste Erica's cooking, <laughs> you never. I don't know what rhymes, Jeez. but it's good as fuck. If it ain't cheesy, we don't. We're just gonna sprinkle a lot of that cheese on there, and then we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese on this one. Just a little, not too much, because we got all that cheese. So, yeah. Now we're gonna pop them in. The oven. Now we're gonna pop these two in the oven. Wait, let me. Four hundred degrees for twenty minutes, y'all. Both of them are in the oven now. Like I said, four hundred degrees for about 20 minutes, just until all that cheese melts. It's gonna be delish. All right. The meat shells, the cheese shells. So amazing. My nephew. Can't wait to taste it. My niece, once again, my nephew. Oh. 13 year old niece. Oh, 13 year old niece. Me, I'm in nephew. Okay, so everything is done. I have my cheese shells here, my meat shells here. So I'm going to try each of them. And I sprinkled them with a little bit of oregano. Mm-hmm, mm hmm And then the meat one. Oh, my gosh. Bell peppers, onions, spinach, cheese, A glorious cheese. Mmm. I mean, either one is so delicious, but, oh, my gosh. The meat one probably is my face, but both are so good. Stay tuned for next time. We'll wind down with Erica.